Hey, what's up everyone? Hopefully everyone's doing well. It's been some time since I've done a video on the Nintendo Switch. Um, today I'm going to show you how to um, merge um, two separate files when you dump your own backup of your game cartridges um, into one single file. So right here, I got uh, Metroid Prime Remastered. I'm going to pop this in. we go it's right there let's scroll all the way down to actually there we go gonna dump the game card content now keep in mind that um, my SD card is formatted in the we're gonna pick uh, NX card image now keep in mind my my SD card for the Nintendo switch is formatted into the fat 32 so for those people who have FAT32 cards um, formatted, please, um, with your left Joy-Con, move it to where it says yes. Now, you want to come down to trim output dump. You could do this if you want. It just trims out a bunch of junk um, that you don't actually need um, within the rip of your backup. So you can keep it if you want, or it doesn't matter to you. Um, my Nintendo Switch is online, so I'm going to have the checksum calculated um, to verify. And you could always rename uh, the output naming. Just hit left or right. It only gives you left or, yeah, left or right. It only gives you two options of how you want to um, name the backup. So I'm going to keep it like this. Um, I'm going to keep the CR32 like this. You don't have to do this. I'm just doing this for um, the purpose of the video. Um, and unfortunately, um, the FAT32 could only hold four gigs. So that's why there's going to be two separate files um, when you um, back up your own game cart. So I want to start this. Now this is going to take some time. Um, I'm just going to let this um, go. I'm going to fast forward and uh, I'll catch you. I'll put my switch down. I'll fast forward and I'll catch you guys when um, this is completely finished. All right, um, welcome back. Um, the game is just completely dumped onto my SD card. Um, it says press any button to continue. What, so we're gonna do that. Um, I'm gonna hit the positive button, the plus. Gonna get out of here. Um, next, we're gonna power off the Nintendo Switch. Take the SD card out from here and pop it into the laptop um, right behind me. So. Uh, Stay, stick with me, guys. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back on the PC side of things. I apologize. I usually use my the OBS Studio, but for some reason, my microphone is giving me a lot of static while trying to do a test. So I got to use my GoPro. Um, I'm sure this is going to be somewhat hard to see. I do apologize. Um, I don't know what else to do. It's 8:27 p.m. on a Monday night. Nothing's open that I could go buy a, a cheap microphone. But I do have my SD card in. We're going to go to my D drive, which is my SD for my Nintendo. You're going to want to go to the NX Dump tool, that, the program that you used. You want to go to the XCI. You want to highlight both of these files, drag and drop to the desktop. I don't know if this works for the Macintosh, um, so I couldn't tell you. Uh, most of these programs are written for um, Windows. Um, this is going to take a little while, so bear with me.
All right, those files have transferred over completely, perfectly. Um, we're still on the SD card. You could just highlight these um, and just delete them. I, I go shift and then delete. Doesn't take too long. All right, let's exit out of that. So here are your two files. Now what you're gonna need to do, is you're gonna need to download this folder, it's called SAC. Let's see, let's put Tendo. Now this link will be down in the description below. It's been updated since 2021. This is what it looks like. Um, you can read what it does here if you'd like. So I already have it downloaded. Um, in my bin, I have my prod keys already placed in the bin folder. I suggest you find where you um, got your um, keys from the lock pick from your Nintendo Switch and drag and drop on the prod keys over um, into the bin file. So let's boot this bad boy up. You can format your SD card if you'd like from here. The cool thing is that this program is the exact same program that I used when I formatted uh, my thumb drive when I was updating my PlayStation 4's um, hard drive to an SSD drive. But this, for some reason, was coded right into the program itself. So if you need to format something, you're good to go right there. So what we want to do, we want to, we want to merge an XCI. We don't want to split. It's already been split. Now, if you want to split like um, a full file, you can, um, a full XCI. But we want to merge these two files down here. So XC0 is the one we want. Merge. Now it's at 20%. All right. Need the time, 33 seconds it took. Merge two parts. There you go, finished. Return the main menu. Let's exit out of this. Um, your dump will be in your SAC um, folder. So there it is, there's the full file. Right click. For Windows 11 it says show more. And it's 7.43 gigabytes, it's a big game. Also, if you want to find out um, if your SD card is a XFAT or, or FAT32, open up your Windows Explorer. Highlight what drive your SD card is for uh, the switch. Right click. Go to Properties. And it says right there, FAT32. And this is how much space I got and how much I've used. So let's cancel out of that. So there's the file right there. We could delete these two splitted files since we don't need them. Splitted. I think that's a word. Let's uh, shift and delete. Um, next, you don't need this, but it's kind of cool. It's an XCI Explorer. I could leave this link down in the description below if you'd like. Um, you want to click Load Game. Go to Desktop. There you go. Give some information about the uh, game itself, the root, what's in actually the, the game itself, the, the file. It's eight gigabytes. Um, this is good if you want to trim this, um, to save space on the um, SD card. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, but it says 7.44, use space is 7.12 gigabytes. Um, let's trim this. And it actually brings it down to 7.12 gigabytes. It deletes a bunch of crap that's in the uh, dump that you don't need. So we can exit out of this. Exit out of that. 
And there you go, 7.12 gigabytes. And that's how you merge um, two, um, two files that are split for your uh, Nintendo Switch. And that's it, that's, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, I might just make another um, Reddit forum for Nintendo Switch. I'm, I'm kind of having fun dumping games and putting them out there for people. Hopefully, people who've seen my videos on how to dump their carts and other videos on other people's how to dump game cartridges are willing to help out the community. Maybe we could make a Discord if anybody's smart enough to make a Discord channel. And we could just um, start having people download games um, from there. I'd rather have a trusted source because I've read that... Um, some people like to infect um, game files with uh, malicious um, stuff that could brick your system. I've read that the same thing about the uh, PlayStation Vita as well. So, I mean, it's great that there's a bunch of websites out there that you can actually download full games. I don't trust it, um, especially if you're spending 200 and something on bucks on a Nintendo Switch, um, especially an OLD screen. Why do you want to mod that then, um, then brick it because you downloaded some Fugazi file from some website you don't even know? That's why I'm having fun just ripping my own games, pasting them to the um, Vita Lounge right now. I might make a NSW Lounge or something like that. Um, but if somebody's smart enough to do a Discord, hit me up. Um, the files are big, so please have yourself a good internet um, connection um because they're going to take a while to download but if you're on a good connection if you're in a college the college connections are just ridiculously fast so you'll get them like like that but other than that um i suggest when you download don't go playing like some online multiplayer game because you're just gonna hell up the bandwidth um so yeah that's that's how you merge um two files into one and um uh, be good to go. So like if you like, dislike if you dislike, and I'll catch you guys later on. Thank you.